Okay, I know I need to share this dream that the Lord gave me. And I've been asking the Lord for strength to share it. The dream really shook me up. Um, I had it four nights ago. I don't share a lot of dreams and visions on this channel, just only when I, I don't have a ton. I have had some, yes, and I have shared some. When I've really felt like the Holy Spirit, they're from the Holy Spirit. And I've waited. I had this dream four nights ago. And I keep getting confirmation from just nudges from the Lord to share. So I'm going to read to you. Please take heed. Please take heed. I'm going to read to you, wake up if you're not awake, but I'm going to read to you the dream, okay? It's like the final warnings. Okay, I was in a big house where I lived among a lot of people who were very busy, distracted, or partying. For the most part, these people weren't really doing anything very meaningful. They were deceitful, calloused people who laughed in arrogance and made joke of everything. I was mostly downstairs. I didn't fit in with these people at all, and I knew it. I had a very uneasy feeling around them and that something bad was coming. Then I was given a severe warning in the dream, and I, in the dream I even knew it was from God, that a huge, massively destructive storm was coming very quickly. So I started to warn people downstairs of the imminent danger. Now most would laugh or ignore me and go about their business. And I didn't really even have time. I just kept warning. I just moved on and kept warning. I knew I had to go upstairs. So I, I did. And I warned them. And they were even more like callous to what I was saying and mocking. And I told them that they should not open the door because the, the storm would just destroy them. But they laughed and they looked at me as though I was crazy. And they even opened the door. And as, as they did, I thought at that moment, the storm would just, you know, destroy us all. So I, I looked at the sky and I, I knew that it was gloomy and there definitely was, you know, dark clouds. A, a storm was coming, but they didn't believe me. And they said there wasn't, they laughed and said there wasn't any great danger at all. And then I was really confused and I woke up. Now this dream really troubled me. Um, and I, it, when I woke up, I was really troubled and I was upset. And I asked the Lord, you know, why didn't the storm come? I, I was warning them and I really believed it was coming at that moment. Um, so I begged the Lord to tell me what it all meant and why the storm didn't come at that moment. And after praying for a while and getting attacked, the Lord answered and said, basically said, don't doubt. Don't doubt. You know, if people don't believe you, don't doubt what I've told you. That's what the Lord's saying. Don't worry about what people think. You know, I tell you something, you deliver the warnings. And it'll happen, you know, anyway. That's something else the Lord was telling me. But he told me, that the one answer he gave me at that moment was the Titanic. That the house was a boat and it was the Titanic and that the iceberg had been hit. And it would sink. So the danger had started. And then later on he confirmed that the, the ship, the Titanic is America. And the boat, the house boat that I was in is America. The, hit, the iceberg has been hit, and the signs are all around. I wrote this down. Hurricanes, fires, flood, mudslides, murder and death, um, shootings, lies, murder, and death. These are all signs of the iceberg hitting. And the boat, the iceberg has already been hit. And if you look up the story of the Titanic, I just did out of curiosity. Um, it's not a story. I mean, it's you know, the, the history of it, what actually happened. Um, you know, the people upstairs especially didn't believe they were in any great danger. Nobody thought the boat would sink. None of the passengers did. The crew did. But it even took a while for the crew to figure that out. 
Anyway, people are still asleep. They don't, they don't see the great danger, even though it's so many bad things have happened already. Lord have mercy. So I wanted to share this confirmation of the prophecies, the real prophecies that have um, been given by the Lord. Please discern, please pray to the Lord to just stay alert and vigilant in Jesus Christ because these are the last of the last days and great evil is here and is rising. That's all I will say for now.